Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube update that passed me by. Uh, believe me, if I had seen this way back, I would have made a video about it, but better late than never. Um. Anyway, testing out timestamps in YouTube policy violation emails, June 23rd, 2021. We want to make it easier for creators to understand policy decisions, know when to appeal, and avoid similar violations in the future. And that's why we're testing out improved policy emails that provide an example of timestamp showing where we believe the policy violation exists in the video. The timestamp will be linked and included alongside specific details about the community guidelines and linked to related help resources. To start, we're testing this with a subset of YouTube policies, so you might not see it yet, and have plans to expand it to more policies in future pending feedback and results. Many of you have specifically asked for timestamps from our support teams, so we're looking forward to your thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that people have been saying on the platform for years. To receive a, your video has been taken down because it didn't comply with our guidelines, but it didn't say what guidelines, or it didn't say where the violation was, or what the person said and did, just leaving them confused. To which they'd then go to YouTube on Twitter, to which YouTube would say, oh yeah, your video did break the rules, so nay luck, mate. This is a very good step forward for YouTube to take, to let people know where they went wrong and what they did. Anyway, I've got other videos on my channel, so feel free to give one a watch. I'll catch you next time. See ya.